So today, we're gonna be attempting another clan mate's recommendation decks. They recommended me the Treant Wraith Wizard and Warlord. This should be pretty interesting, but we'll see what happens. My name is Toon Mike, and how far can we go in this majestic challenge? Before we get started to today's video, I just want to point out that the person who recommended me this um, this deck is called AAA. It's in Smashing Tunes. Thank you so much. We'll be using your deck. And also, if you guys want to join the clan, um, the clan's name is Smashing Tunes. Go with the green background. Um, it is requires 1,600 trophies, but if you guys have less trophies, but it but if you guys want to join, just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll certainly um, adjust the trophy requirements so you guys can join because. Honestly, I don't mind uh, having a full clan, so if you guys want to join, by all means, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll adjust the trophy requirements for you guys can join. So, without further ado, let's just hop into the Majestic Challenge, and let's see how far can we go with this Treant, Wraith, Wizard, and Warlord combo. So, now we have a Treant, Wraith combo, which is honestly super great. That combo is pretty dangerous, especially if you line up the Treant, obviously, with the Wraith, so that the Wraith can get an attack buff every single time he's spins and that was honestly very very dangerous nicely done there we the wraith is uh got the attack buff so let's hit the assassin like this the assassin died all right so you know what we'll definitely take that especially since he did a lot of damage to the treant and the wraith let's just see if we can stay alive because we got two troops that took a serious amount of damage he is gonna give the attack buff to the mice bandit is the wizard alive Yes, but barely. We can actually try to... I don't think it's going to work out too well, but we can get the attack buff from the Treant. And maybe we can kill off the Mice Bandit? Yes, we actually did kill off the Mice Bandit. Alright, so that's two troops down, two dangerous troops down. Not saying that the Treant is not dangerous right now. The Treant is clearly dangerous because he has an attack buff. My, my Treant and probably the Wizard are going to die right now. I honestly hope that the wizard can stay alive. The wizard is alive, okay. My treant, unfortunately, is dead, but we can still make things work. Hopefully, the warlord gets the, pack, the attack buff for himself. No, he doesn't. Of course not. Uh, We might be able to push the enchanter source wizard. The angle is a little bit off, so we might miss, but we're going to try it. Well, we actually did it. Okay, I'm actually very surprised that we actually pulled that off. All right. So the wizard buffed, it's pretty dangerous. But we might lose the wizard now. I hope not. Please miss the double hit. Miss the double hit. Fingers crossed. Miss the double hit. He got the double hit. All right. Um. So now we have the wraith going up. Hopefully it is his turn. If it's not, then we're probably not going to be able to take out the enchantress or the treant. Mm. Let's go a little bit high on the angle, I mean. So that way we can also hit the Treant. We missed the Treant. Oh my gosh, we are not doing well. We are done doing well. We missed that attack on the Treant. We might lose the Wraith now. Or the Warlord, depending on who he wants to attack. He's going to hit both of them for sure. Actually, probably not. The Treant is so slow. Honestly, that I got lucky there. He is super slow. Let's hit the, the train towards the steam. Hopefully the warlord can come back and hit him twice. Yes, we were actually able to do that. How much health does the train have? 283. Um, hopefully the wraith stays alive here. The warlord just died, I think. No. The wraith got the buff. How lucky am I, ladies and gentlemen? If we can get three hits off of him, I think three, we'll win. And there you go. We somehow won that game. G. G. I honestly, honestly, I don't think I should have won that. I got lucky at the end there, especially with the Warlord's ability giving the troops the buff that actually goes next. So I got super lucky with that. G. G. All around. Let's hop into the second match. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going away for some reason. We're also facing a Tree and Wraith combo. Interesting. My Warlord got the buff, obviously. That's not going to help out. Um, I guess we can just double hit his Treant. Maybe even hit the Wraith. Yep. Triple hit the Treant. Alright, not too bad. But now we might lose my Treant here. Might. 
If he double hits it, triple hit. It seems like that was a triple hit. And of course the burn. Burn all around. Wizard goes next week. We can, de we can definitely do some serious damage here. Especially if we can get an attack buff from the train right here. There you go. Ooh wee, that Wraith and the and the Blaze took a serious amount of damage. My Treant is probably gonna die here for sure. Yep. And the uh, Wizard too. Yes. Nicely done. Nicely done. It seems like we're gonna lose now. Because of that play. And that play alone. We cannot even push any troops towards the Wraith, so... Uh, yeah, this is, this is a loss. This is definitely a loss. That's all we can do. The Wraith is still not dead. Um, we just need to get lucky that the Wraith gets the attack buff right now. Healed up the Blaze. Wow, this guy's getting super lucky. The Wraith did get the buff. Alright, so we can definitely take out his Blaze and the Wraith like this. There you go. So both of his troops are dead. Dangerous troops, might add. Those two are very dangerous. So it's just, just the Paladin and the Treant. If we can kill off one of them, the other one cannot use his, the ability. So we just got to figure out a way to kill off the troops immediately. My Black uh, Warlord Sabi got the buff. The Treant actually got blocked with the Snowball. So we're just going to leave the Treant alone. Double hit the Paladin. Hopefully we can get a triple hit. Nope, almost a triple hit, but that's totally fine. If the Wraith gets the buff here, that would be very, very interesting. Hopefully my, my Wraith stays alive here. No, he died. Wow, he got lucky with the Snowball. Alright, so it's just up to the Warlord. Okay. Um, A little bit challenging, but we can still make things work. Let's see if we can double hit the Paladin. Maybe the Warlord will go back and hit the Treant. We missed the double hit. Or, missed the Treant, sorry. <clears throat> Um, the Paladin cannot do too much damage. He is going to heal up the Treant. Double hit. The, or double heal the Treant. Okay. Hopefully the Snowball does not does not block me. Okay. So let's see if we can hit his Treant. Because now we need to deal as much damage as we can to the Treant. There you go. We got one hit. He has 416 health. And I have 223. We are almost half. Half of the health that this guy has. So... We are in a predicament here, however, I, I can deal almost double the damage that he that he does, so we'll see what we can do here. And the snowball did block me there. Wow, the snowball blocked me. That is unfortunate. That snowball blocked me. This guy got lucky. I would have double hit him easily. The snowball blocked him. Alright, you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. The snowball blocked him. But he was able to use the snowballs to take me out. GG. What could I have done there, man? What could I have done there? He got lucky with the snowballs. And of course, I guess that last heal that he did towards the Treant was just enough to help him take me out. Good game to that person. We got one win, one loss. But not to worry. It is still early in the run. He has an armadillo, which he cannot use his ability on. I'll, I'll take it. Even though he does 79 damage. Pretty high. Um, he still cannot use his ability, so I'm happy about that. The bomber, his bomber goes first. Hopefully, he doesn't. Okay, he failed to double hit the um the wizard, which we'll take. The treant got the buff. We could definitely hit the bomber and the archer here. We missed the the bomber. You can see his his health meter was supposed to get hit. Like seriously, they need to fix that bug. They, they seriously need to fix that bug. Hopefully he doesn't get a double hit here. Don't do there. Wizard got the buff. Okay, so this should be very interesting to hit these two for sure. We might actually kill off the pirate here. Oh yeah, and the bomber too. Alright, so we took out both of those troops out. Actually, the pirate is still alive. Five health. He survived with five measly health. Of course he did. Of course he did. His archer goes next. He's going to push the tree and towards the bomb. Hopefully he pushes the bomb out of the way. So nobody gets hit. Nope, never mind. The wraith and the tree will get the bomb blast. Ouchie. That is definitely an ouchie. Uh, should we try... We can try to double hit the archer. By doing this. There you go. We double hit the archer. We can definitely take out the pirate easily. For sure. 
the Archer was just dangerous overall. So we will definitely take out the Pirate easily. He only has 68 health. We can definitely take him out easily. Um, nope. And then afterwards, we just need to worry about the... The Amadillo that cannot use his ability, so... Um, yeah, we'll definitely take out the Pirate right now. By hitting him. Like that. And almost hitting the, um... The Armadillo. Alright, so the Armadillo is fully healed, but he has to worry about four troops. So four troops against one. Um, I mean, things could be a little bit better because my troops are getting low health. Hopefully the wizard stays alive. Yes, the wizard did stay alive, so hopefully either the warlord or the wizard gets the buff here. The wizard got the buff. Alright, definitely, definitely taking that for sure. Let's see if we can double hit the Armadillo with the wizard by doing this. There you go. Almost dead. That was almost. That, that was about 350 uh, three hundred fifty damage, which we'll definitely take. He just took out the Wraith. Is my wizard dead too because of the fire? No. And we should now either... Alright, so we cannot take out... Actually, we can just double hit and we should be able to take him out right now. Double hit should work. There you go. G. G. Oh, okay. Super happy about that. Very interesting deck and all combat deck with the Armadillo. The Armadillo cannot use this ability. It can only work if I had troops that enchant myself. And I don't, obviously. But regardless, GG to the person. He has Priest. Interesting. Alright, so my wizard goes first. Definitely gonna take this attack buff from the Treant. And hopefully we can hit somebody here. Yes, we actually hit the Treant and the wizard right there. Decent amount of damage. Almost have health to those two. You know what? We'll definitely take that. His priest goes goes first. He cannot do too much. Honestly, they seen a decent amount of damage even with the priest. The all right. So the triant got the buff. Let's actually push the priest towards the wraith and maybe even the triant. There you go. Is the priest dead? Not yet. The priest is surviving with only forty four health. One hit from anybody except the. Except the the warrior, of course, and we should be able to take him out. Now we can definitely take out the um the priest, so he can stop healing. Hopefully, we can hit somebody towards the wizard. Yes, we were double hit on the wizard. Let's go, and we also hit the damage to the wraith. Let's go, let's go. His wraith goes next. Um, he'll probably deal. Oh, he's going after the wizard. Interesting. Okay. Only a double hit, thankfully. Uh, my Wraith got the buff. How lucky am I, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can also uh, take out the Goblin right here. And now it's just his Wraith against four of my troops. And he, does, he doesn't have the Warlord to buff himself up. Nor has attack buffs or defense buff. We should definitely take this guy out super easily. Let's see what he wants to do. He is definitely going after the Wizard. Honestly, not too sure why he is focused too much on the wizard, but you know what? Hopefully my warlord gets a buff, and that'll be that'll be funny if my warlord gets a buff. He didn't, of course. So we should be able to... Actually, we'll just get the attack buff from the Treant here. And we should be able to do this. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. That was about 240 damage. You know what? We'll definitely take that. He'll take out the Wraith, no problem. And now my Treant goes next, and we should be able to double hit with the Treant. Unless the Treant's body is too big, or he gets the buff. Nope, he did not get the buff. Let's see if the Treant's body is too big. I think it is too big, so I don't think we're going to be able to double hit him unless we hit the, the Fire Pillar, and the Treant will go back and hit the Wraith. It did. Wow. G. G. All right. This deck is working out super great. Super happy about this deck. <clears throat> Especially since it is a Treant Wraith combo. Not liking the Treant Wraith combo, but when I use it, it's working out perfectly, obviously. Alright, so let's see who are we going to face now. Rocketeer deck. I honestly do not like the Rocketeer at all. Like, he is incredibly dangerous. Can we? I don't think we're going to be able to hit anybody. So I'm just gonna, let's, I guess, double hit the Rocketeer, even though that's gonna be like 40 damage. Yeah, 40 damage. I, I couldn't do anything. I literally could not do anything there. He might buff up the Rocketeer. Yep. And buff up his own wizard. 
No, he's actually gonna go for the damage here. No, he buff up the Rocketeer. Two touches. Two touches. All right. Uh, okay. So now we can definitely hit. Ooh. Can we also slightly touch the Triant right here? Ooh, that was good. That was a lot of damage. If we can take out the Rocketeer right now, we'll definitely win this one. Because he is relying too much on the Rocketeer, I believe. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Nope, we did not get the buff. I don't think we're going to be able to take out the Rocketeer. Unless we we can hit him three times, I believe. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, how lucky did I get? I got super lucky. We took out the Rocketeer. His main threat. Now we just got to worry about the Wraith and the Wizard. Especially the Wizard, because the Wizard already has an attack buff. Dealing 102 damage. Not liking that. Is literally doing Blaze's damage right now. Double hitting the Warlord. Okay. Wraith got the buff. Obviously, I cannot do much with the Wraith. However, we can probably push the Wizard towards the um his Wraith. He surrendered. We took out... We did not take out his Wraith. But regardless, he surrendered. GG. Taking out that Rocketeer was the, was the game changer right there. We got four wins with one loss. We can continue on. We can definitely push higher. Hopefully. So, let's hop into another one. Warlord Blaze, of course. Warlord Blaze is the nastiest combo you can use right now. For sure. Those two need a nerf. Especially the Blaze. And I think the Warlord needs a rework or something because his ability is just too strong. The Wizard did not get the buff, sadly. But we can definitely push towards the Treant. And then the Wizard will go back and hit those two, hopefully. Well, we only hit the Blaze, but we still did 94 damage to the Warlord because of the the ability alone. We'll take it. Of course, the Blaze gets the buff here, so we might lose some troops here. We will... Luckily, the Wraith did not get a double hit. Or a triple hit, sorry. Did not get a triple hit. We would like to take out his Blaze. Yep, there you go. And we pushed the Wizard towards the Warlord for 162 damage. That was lucky. Okay, Warlord got the buff. Thankfully, it is not his turn. However, the Mice Bandit will take out the Wraith. Also, did damage a lot of damage to the um, the Warlord. Not happy about that. My Trian goes next. He got the buff. So, you know what? We'll see if you can take out the Warlord right now. Might do this. Nope, the Mushroom messed it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind. I thought the Mushroom messed it up, but we still managed to take out... The Warlord. Now he may now take out the Treant here. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, he did. He definitely did. Alright. So, let's see here. We gotta worry about these two. These two are fully healed. Um, Hopefully the Wizard gets the buff here. He did not. Alright. So, uh, hopefully we can get a double hit here. Probably not. Because of the angle. And the weight. Let's see. No, we did not get the double hit. However, that was 119 damage, one hit. And the wizard got out of the way to safety. Hopefully he misses this. Nope, he got two hits. Don't tell me that the wizard's dead. Wizard is alive, barely. Wizard got the buff. We can definitely hit the mice bandit towards the wizard. We And the warlord may hit the wraith. Oh, there you go. We actually just took out the mice bandit. Now we have to worry about a fully health wraith. Um... If he kills off the wizard, then we're, we're going to have a problem here. He did not. However, he did a decent amount of damage to the warlord. And of course, the wizard did not get the buff. He got lucky there. However, this is still going to be a lot of damage regardless. Look at that. 143 damage. One hit. Uh, but I think this is already GG. Hopefully, he only gets one hit. One hit, please. Please, you only get one hit. Please, one hit. All right, he only got one hit each, took out the wizard, but um, honestly, I think this is already GG. I will need to hit the, um, the Wraith three times, I mean four times, and I think it's possible unless we can use the, the Mushroom for some bounciness. Nope. And yep, that, that's already enough. The Wraith can take him out in one hit, GG. I honestly did try. I really did try, but what can you do? 
Um, it ain't perfect, but we are trying to make this deck work. And it's working. We got four wins. We do have four wins. Let's hop into hopefully not the final match. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get at least one or two wins and then I'll be happy with spending 100 gems on this deck. So, let's see what we're going to face. Hopefully not a Warlord Blaze. Treant Wraith with the Assassin. Great. Um, Actually, we can definitely push my wizard towards his wizard. There you go. Also dealing... Oh, that wizard took so much damage. I'm, I'm happy with that starting hand. Super happy with that starting hand. My Warlord goes next. Hopefully we can get the buff towards the wizard. Eh, you know what? We'll take that too. We can just deal damage to the Assassin. Hopefully we can take him out. Yep, the Assassin is dead. Oh my gosh, imagine if that wizard would have hit the Wraith. That would have been great. Nah, but now I think the wizard is going to die. I think the wizard is definitely going to die here. Oh yeah, for sure he died. For sure he died. Um, we can definitely take out the, the Treant and his wizard. Uh, for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely do that by doing this. And one more head towards the Treant. And there you go. Now it's just his Wraith against my fully healed Treant, my Wraith as well, and the Warlord. Don't think his Wraith is going to win. Let's see. What is he going to do? It's going after the corner. Double hitting the Wraith. Not too bad. Uh, let's see here. Should we? I think we'll just do this and hit the steam, and we should be able to hit the um the the wraith. Yep, that was 103 damage. We'll take it. Ooh, but I'm actually in a bad predicament right now. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, thankfully he only one hit the wraith. Okay, this guy's getting lucky. So you know what? We'll get the attack buff from the treant, and then we'll hit the wraith. 75 damage. All right. Um, this is becoming a little bit dangerous, for sure. This is becoming a little bit dangerous. Can we get the the attack buff to the troop that actually goes next, please? This is not looking too good. Can we get the attack buff? Thank you. Um, just just wow. That's all I gotta say. Hopefully, we can make the tree and bounce back and hit the wraith, please. Yes, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That was getting dangerously close. I honestly thought I was gonna mess that up. Honestly did I was I honestly did think I was gonna mess that up, but we managed to pull through, thankfully. And let's hop into another one. Golly, I honestly thought I was gonna lose that one. But we got five wins. I'm now happy with the with the um spending a hundred gems on this deck and for some reason we're not oh never mind, we did find an opponent right here. We are facing Drakeling Jaguar. Okay, Farmer Assassin. Not okay. Interesting. Interesting. So his assassin goes first, which you know what? Super happy about that. He cannot use his ability. Um, he is not playing. Okay, now he's playing. All right. So it seems like he's gonna hit the wraith. Double hit the war, the warlord, and the wraith. Okay. Hopefully my wizard gets a buff here. That would be great. He did. He did get the buff. So definitely hit. The Drakeling and the Jaguar here. We miss. Oh, never mind. We'll take that. We did so much damage to the Jaguar, Assassin, and the Farmer. I'm super happy about that. But now, my wizard may die. Nicely played with the Assassin there. That was very nicely done. The Wraith got the buff. Should we go after the Jaguar or hit the... um? The Drakeling and the Farmer. I honestly don't know what to do here. Actually, we'll push the Farmer since the Farmer does go next. We do not want my Warlord and the Trant line up for his Assassin attack. So, we'll do that instead. He can still do the attack. <laughs> I honestly thought we'd kill off the Farmer. Um, he can definitely still do the attack and he can kill off my Warlord and the Trant here. The Trant is still alive, thankfully. We can definitely, definitely kill off his Jaguar and the Farmer by doing this. There you go. Yep, he took out the Farmer as well. G Not GG yet. He can still take me out. Especially if he pushes the Assassin towards the Treant and the Assassin may bounce towards the Wraith and the Wizard. Hopefully not. 
he did. Not towards the wizard, but he actually uh, played out super well to hit it towards the wraith. Plus, he got the defense buff. Um, let's double hit the the um the drakeling here. There you go. Almost poisoning it. That would have been great if he would have poisoned. All right. So his assassin goes next now. What is he gonna do? Go for the wizard. Go for the wraith. Maybe even go for both if he does this correctly. He may actually hit both. He's gonna get the attack buff. Took out the Wraith. Alright, so now we do have a little bit of a predicament here. But we can still still win this. Uh, can we double hit the Assassin, please? That is the question. Please double hit the Assassin here. How did we miss that Drakeling, though? How lucky is he that we missed the Drakeling? Hopefully my wizard can survive this. 233 health. We should be able to survive this attack depending on how he plays it here with the fireball. And maybe even a double hit. Wow, okay. Dangerously close there. If we can double hit the, the Drakeling, we will win. However, we may mess it up. <sighs> we mess it up. Ah, uh, we messed it up, ladies and gentlemen. We messed it up. He would need two hits on me. We messed up the attack. Is that the wizard so lightweight? I did not play that right. The wizard is so lightweight. Please don't double hit. No. He double hit. I cannot believe I messed up that attack. I messed up that attack. I should have won that. Ah, uh, that was a big mistake on my part. That literally cost me the game and the run. I should have I should have went six and six and two right now, but hey, that's gonna be it for today's video. I do apologize for that stupid play that I just did at the end there, but I'm not perfect. What can you do? Getting all these cards, hey, you know what? We'll definitely take those for for 100 gems. Super happy about that. Thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing Four videos. I should have definitely got six wins there. Uh, sadly, I messed up the last play. The deck is really good, especially with the Warlord having in play and the Tree uh, and Wraith combo. It's a very good deck. You can definitely go far with that deck. I just messed up the last play there, but if you guys use the deck, you can definitely go far with it. Um, if you got, uh, Once again, guys, if you guys want to join the clan, Smashing Toon Skull with the green background. Um, if you guys have less trophies than the required amount, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll adjust the trophies so you guys can join. And if you guys have any other um, challenge deck recommendations that you want to see, just let me know and I'll certainly do it. Let's actually open this epic orb. Hopefully we can get a lot of shamans here. Fingers crossed that we can. Please, 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 can we get some shamans here? Shamans, shamans, shamans. Of course not. Whoop. And if you guys have any ladder deck recommendations that you want to see, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll certainly do it as well. I'm still trying to get to uh, Grand Champions. For some reason this season is just difficult to get to Grand Champions. But I will certainly try to do it. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.